Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second to last giveaway for the month. I'm doing two of these pack giveaways uh, every week to celebrate getting YouTube partner. So I hope you guys enjoy. We've done this pack before. This is the Throne of Eldraine Collector Booster. They are going for around $30 to $40 a piece. It's a very cool exclusive thing. The retail is like $350 for a box of 12 packs, I believe. So we've already opened some cool stuff, but these were not all from the same box. I got all of them loose. So you never know, we have a good chance to get something really cool. Um, one of you guys are gonna be the lucky winner and actually be able to get to take home or get shipped the contents of whatever we open today. So at the end of the pack, I'll tell you the keyword. You're gonna post it down below. Uh, also, there will be a link to a Twitter post. If you retweet that, you'll have a second entry. And yeah, good luck to one of you guys. Hopefully one of you guys will get something really, really sweet today. I know some of the cards go up to like $300 from these packs because they have uh, a foil foiling chance and a, an extended art and an alternate art uh, options. So they're really cool. And uh, we're gonna open the pack. I know the second batch of videos, the camera is still very blurry because it's expensive to you know get equipment. But I hope you guys can see a little bit better with the lighting. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try some more stuff next time. All right, so the first, um, let's put this little guy up here so you guys can see what you're getting. Uh, the first couple of cards in these packs are always shiny and you can actually see that now because my lighting is a little bit better. So we do have some foils. We got foils so tiny, great card in, uh, in this set. Big fan of it, I like the art as well. There's a little uh, fairy inside the jar here. Eye Collector, also foil. Hey, we got a foil um, storybook alternate art uh, adventure card. So this is the uh, red two three that lets you discard a card to draw a card. So that's pretty cool. Again, it's foil, so that makes it you know much nicer. And it also has the alternate art um, story border, which is going to be pretty rare. Uh, normal foil uh, adventure unicorn. So that's more underwhelming. Foil forever young. Cards great and limited. Big fan of playing it. Uh, Sword Master Foil. This card's super cool in 2HG. It does specify each opponent. And if you have a Lucky Charm in play, uh, you can just like 20 someone for no reason. It's fun. Foil Rider. Ooh, alternate art foil storybook. This one's an uncommon. We have a Beanstalk Giant. Phone buzzing, sorry about that guys. So, so far we've had all foils. All that glitters, also foil. Oh my goodness, too many foils. Alternate art non-foil tree, tree folk. Okay, this is the same uh, un, um, red looter alternate art that we already had. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This is the alternate art flyer that taps down for the adventure side and it's a two, three fire flyer for three. Very playable. I think these storybook borders are very collectible. I think they're pretty sweet. Here's our first rare, fairy formation. We have a, a couple more things. So there is two more cards in the pack plus a guaranteed foil token. So um, it's kind of weird the way the packs are laid out is you're guaranteed to get foils in the first set and you can get like random ones and then you can get a specific card in this set and it can be rare or not. It's, it's very interesting the way they have these packs set up. So I'm not exactly sure what else is left. Uh, fairy formation, I think we've had one of these in one of our pack giveaways before, but it is indeed a rare. The next card is also a rare. Ooh, it's an extended art, Midnight Clock. First I thought I said cloak. So um, there is no border here, which is really neat. This is one of the uh, more premium cards that we're gonna find in these packs. I'm not sure how much this uh, card is worth or if it is being, uh, if it's seeing any play, but we'll check at the, at the end here. Here's the last uh, pack. It is indeed a foil. Oh, I'm sorry, the last card in the set, I think. Yep. Yeah. It is not a creature. Trying to be a little dramatic. Oh no, it's a land. We got the um, foil. That's a foil rare though, that's pretty nice. So we did get a foil rare, a normal rare, and an extended rare. 
And then the foil mythic wolf token. That's kind of cool. I actually have not seen this wolf token. It goes with the Garouk in the set, which is a mythic. So that means the token is a little bit more rare. All right, so we got some cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little search and uh, find out which of these cards, if any, are worth anything. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully one of you guys will get to win something cool. All right, guys, looking at the prices for some of these cards, it looks like we have a couple of dollars for um, the wolf token, the alternate art, uh, I'm sorry, the extended art is also uh, a bit on the rarish side, but not worth too much. It's not seeing much play. We also got a ton of the um, foil and non-foil storybook arts, which again, are very collectible. Uh, I don't know that I've seen quite this many foil storybook arts in one of the packs before, so that's really neat. So hopefully you guys will enter down below and retweet the uh, link to the Twitter post, and that will also give you an entry and I will be mailing this out to one lucky winner. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope we open something even better next time. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Please check the link down below for our sponsor, Card Kingdom. They help me out with making so much of this content. Also, a big thank you to everyone who has signed up for my Patreon. Without you, none of this content would be possible.